Okay, this how-to video is going to describe the back drilling process that's available now inside Allegro PCB Designer. Um, so back drilling is a is a, a, a manufacturing process that can be used to remove the stubs on uh, plated through holes, especially for high speed signals where you want to remove the stub because having too long a stub can cause uh, you signal integrity problems on, on the net. So now you can either use a blind and braid wire, you can obviously utilize all of the kind of the, the layers to reduce the stub on a plated through hole, or you can use the manufacturing process of back drilling. So what you would do is you need to identify the nets that need the back drilling. So we can just do a right click and do a property edit on the net. And you can see we've got a, a back drill max PTH stub that we can specify as a property on the net. Um, and then from a manufacturing point of view, we can actually process this. So if we've got a manufacturer NC, there's a back drill setup where we can um, define specific layers from and to where we're going from to. It will then calculate the depth of the of the drill that's required and then whether you're meeting that or not based on the properties that you've got. So there's an analysis process that will give you kind of a DRC mode that you can work your way through. And then you can also use this as part of the manufacturing process to generate NNC drill. Um, and it would go out to the fabricator to reduce the stubs on these high speed plated through holes. For more information on back drilling, um, probably the best place to look is if you go to the, the installation directory, um, there's a dot folder and then there's a Legro back drill and there's a PDF here that kind of goes through the best practices about how to use the back drilling process. Um, so that's the best place to go for this.